Hello. After last week's seemingly relentless rain, the prospects for this week are indeed considerably drier. That's not to say it will be dry throughout, but many of us don't face the prospect of any significant rain until at least Friday. But dry with some sunshine does not equate to warm, quite a chilly wind around the southern flank of this high pressure, the high across Scandinavia, keeping us largely dry, but bringing an easterly wind off the North Sea, particularly into obviously eastern coastal counties, it will also pick up some thicker areas of cloud from the continent through the next few days from time to time. Tuesday, we start with some cloud across the central swathe of the UK. Much of that dissolves, leaving a lot of sunshine on into the afternoon. But another massive cloud gets picked up on the wind, pulled into East Anglia and the southeast, and could give us a few showers. 17 for Glasgow, uh, warm and sheltered to the west once again for Tuesday. Very high levels of pollen in many western areas. They come down slightly in the east as we pick up uh, that breeze through the course of Tuesday. Tuesday into Wednesday, we still have high pressure across Scandinavia, and that's not going anywhere in a hurry. We'll see this area of cloud and rain shifting further westwards for Wednesday, but brighter, I think, midweek across the southeast, but some cloud building through the day, but a greater chance of showers across the southwest of England, particularly for Devon and Cornwall. Some quite uh, strong winds perhaps down towards the Channel Islands. Again, always cooler along those eastern coastal counties directly adjacent to the North Sea, perhaps highs no greater than 10 degrees. Elsewhere, though, the temperatures come down a little too as that easterly wind carries the colder air off the North Sea further west. Thursday, another largely fine day. High pressure, uh, perhaps drifting a little bit closer to the north of the UK. The winds falling a little bit lighter, consequently, could mean a frosty start across northern reaches of the UK. Later in the day, a greater chance of some showery rain moving into East Anglia and the southeast. And you'll notice the temperatures in many areas have just nudged down a couple of degrees on the start of the week. And then Thursday into Friday is when we start to see the possibility of some more meaningful rain running its way across the southern half of the UK. But it will come, I think, in the form of bands of showers. So yes, some heavy downpours for a time, but then drier, brighter interludes between times. It shouldn't rain for the whole day uh, across England and Wales. It will be on and off, but it will feel cooler. Just 10 degrees there in Birmingham. Still keeping temperatures in the mid-teens, though, across Scotland. On to the weekend. The high starts to drift away north and we start to pick up a more southwesterly feed to our weather. Areas of low pressure trying to come across us from the Atlantic, tracking up towards Scandinavia. Some rain for many areas on Saturday, and then on Sunday, as the low pulls away, it looks like we'll hook up into a northerly airstream. And uh, showers across northern Scotland could start to turn quite wintry across higher ground. And it's that connecting with the Arctic air that we then need to focus on for the start of next week, because it looks like for a time we could pull Arctic air all the way south across the UK, in fact, down into the heart of Europe, certainly through the earliest part of the week before milder conditions arrive from Wednesday onwards. So next week, potentially a fine start with a lot of sunshine, but look out for the possibility of some quite widespread frost, some chilly days, and once again, some wintry showers, particularly working their way down the North Sea coasts.